Potatoes out for Sasha. Oh God, this, this is disgusting. I think we need some sour cream and some butter. <laughs> Isn't that America in a nutshell? Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we are going to be continuing Attack on Titan uh, Season 4, Episode 10. Uh, last time we saw kind of the funeral of what happened with Sasha. We saw, um, I think the biggest thing we learned was we saw Armin talking to uh, Annie through, uh, you know, she's still crystallized years later. And um, my, I, I, I guess Armin has been kind of talking to her. I guess that's a good way for him to kind of get out his frustrations and what he's thinking so whoever he needs to talk to uh if it's a shell if it's annie it doesn't matter what it is I, I i get it i mean with all the stuff they've gone through i understand how like a lot of them are thinking they've all gone through such traumatic experiences but another thing was armin talking about i don't he thought he knew aaron the best out of everybody even mikasa and now he doesn't know anymore meaning that Aaron is doing things he didn't even think Aaron would do and the way Aaron's thinking and we've been able to tell that through season four that Aaron's different Aaron has changed um and I can't wait to dive more and see how these characters uh how far this goes and how how these characters develop even more because the character development in the show has been spectacular seeing how everyone kind of grows and uh you know going all the way from season one to some being leaders, some being unfortunately dead, and then some just being uh, completely 180 different. Um, but anyway, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash AJRich123. If you want to watch these uncut and early, definitely check it out. And let's go ahead and start. So serious. <laughs> Everything? It is a little bit strange. Asking the real questions here. I mean, he's a bit different now. That's true. He finally mentioned it. I, I think it's to the point in his head where it's like he's trying everything he's really gone he, he's just so much different than he used to be <laughs> so this is where they're trying to get allies okay Oh, okay. That's not the Avenger symbol. Wow. That's insane. I mean, they're still behind everybody else, regardless of some advancements and some help from the outside. だって手首の包帯誰にも見せなかったじゃない。重い荷物を背負う者同士なんでしょ。味方が一緒なら、こんなに頼もしい。Which <laughs> he actually has been helping. So many connections to everybody. Who would have thought though? あれ、ご存知でしたか。ま、私が個人的に調達したものですので、ご安心を。こちらを差し上げます。被害では採掘されたことがない未知の地下資源です。その兵器の中にも痕跡が残っているでしょう。And but you can use that to your advantage. You know what they want. 
ご存知の通り島を守るために必要な三つの過程ですまず一つ目は地ならしの実験的活用 A test run? How do you test a bunch of titans in the wall coming to life? この島の軍事力を世界の水準並みに底上げすることが目的の巨人を王家の血を引く者へと継承その者は13年の任期を終えるまで可能 That's a lot in that contract 何世代にもわたり継承は繰り返されていく今私たちが助かるためなら地ならしが我々 Though it does give them more time to figure it out But 壁を破壊し蹂躙されたわけか I knew he wasn't gonna agree with it. You don't know what's gonna happen. That's the biggest thing. That's why a test run sounded ridiculous. We need Aaron's thinking a bit. Meaning it was easy for him to go to a place like that. I don't like that thinking. Oh, God. Aaron, um, um, uh, calm down. That should frighten everybody a little bit there. The more and more times that he has no opportunity to, to like to to fix what's happening and because and he just says fight 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 but whenever everything just keeps going more wrong and more wrong for him you can tell he's just he i don't know he's getting more in his head i i even though yeah he can he he's like he thinks he can do everything and you know you can't kill me you can't what can you do you guys aren't doing anything it's it really this problem has become re feels really unsolvable, but I worry about Aaron. Oh. What? Holy shit! So they this was holy fuck. This was two years ago. Okay, this was two years before what we're seeing now. So no, what? So Historia got pregnant and now has a holy sh holy crap. But who did, who did she impregnate then? Then one of the, they are, they're actually going with that plan. No wonder Aaron is getting more and more angry. He didn't agree with it. So two years later, holy crap. I know they agreed with it, but I didn't think it was going to go that fast. But I got to also remember this. There's been four years in between. So there's a lot more things that happened than we just saw from the previous episode. A small Eastern nation with its own unique culture, whose head of state is called a Shogun. Yeah, this is reminding me uh, like of either, you know, an Asian culture. This could be, they're saying a small island, I mean, Eastern or a small Eastern nation. It could, you could just say it's Japan. Producing many talented engineers, Hizuru has flourished in weapons and aircraft development and was at one time an ally of the Eldian Empire. The crest of the Shogunate uh, depicts three single-edged swords in its design. <laughs> Oh! What? So random person that she knew from childhood? And we never saw any of this on screen. There's so much that's happened in this short amount of time. This is insane. This complicates everything. What? Wait. Wait, are they poisoning them? There's a lot of shady shit going on in the background here. <laughs> and now they're having to do uh, side stuff. I cannot get used to the. Looks like they're in a Texas Western like this. Whoa. 
I mean, it's not that he necessarily wanted the other thing either, though. I wonder if somebody else talked to them. Which is... A lot of this show, really. So this is how they plan Aaron to going in there. Okay. I mean, they have... They still have time, though. I can't imagine him or Connie having a Titan. It's just... <laughs> because they were so close when they were training. Well, he... When they were infiltrating, he was being a leader, so maybe Connie is the one that's... Oh, don't tell me she was supposed to inherit the Titan. Ah, uh, potatoes out. Potatoes out for Sasha. He doesn't want to lose anybody. Then who would inherit it then? Would you rather have somebody you're close with or somebody random? I would think you'd want somebody close. They really are thinking long term though. What? What is going on here? You don't get these nice little moments very often in this show, so they definitely need to enjoy that. That's something they need to prioritize on figuring out. No, it looks... He acts and looks completely different. I mean, he looks the same for the most part, but... Wow! Mikasa would never deal with that, but they are thinking like that, though. Would Aaron go to that point? Could he lose himself like this? Sounds like a bit of coping there, though. Maybe Mikasa refuses to see how he's changed. I mean, he got... He got sad and he did laugh, but the laugh seemed more... He laughed? See, the thing is, he laughed, yes, but this is the way I took it. I took it like his laughing was more like he can't... It's like everything he tries to do... It's like he stayed there and went there to try to make sure that nothing bad could happen here. And everything he does, bad things happen. And when they were blaming it on him, he I think the laugh was more of just like, what can I do? Like he was so, he was pissed off and sad because you could saw it on, see it on his face. But it was like, it was more of when somebody goes just insane or just can't deal with something, a lot of people laugh it off. As you see with comedians. Like, you just laugh off dark things, and that's the way I kind of saw Aaron was doing there. I don't think it's that he didn't care. I, I don't see it as that. Though I understand why they would see it like that. Especially someone as close to Sasha like Connie. This is insane to even think about stuff like that. Wow. It's gotten to this point. These last couple episodes have been just more learning about the past and learning about what happened during that time frame. And season four has been kind of insane because it pushed us into this time jump, right? Four years in the future and kind of just dived us into a whole nother set of people. And now we're kind of finally where I thought like you would think we would have learned this stuff at the beginning of season four, but instead we're getting this shoved in the middle of learning about 
what happened like what happened in this time frame i feel like i'm watching it out of order don't you guys that's what it feels like but by doing this though and we know the consequences it's it i just i feel bad for everybody but it's gotten i didn't realize that it's gotten to the point where they are not try i mean they we already knew that some people are not trusting aaron but to this extent where aaron is really i mean he seems like he's gone off the deep end like it really it, it was noticeable it, you know in the first few episodes of season four when he got uh, you know brought up and and you know when they attacked and everything but i i you can just see it from his face the way he's acting and his, uh, his decisions and i think it helps when we're seeing you know two years in the past we're seeing how he looks how he's talking acting to now where he's just i, I don't know like it feels like there's nothing like he is looking it, it, that type of person that's just looking in front of him but there's just like he's so lost in his thoughts or his anger that he's not really seeing what's in front of him that's what it feels like to me is anyone else getting that feeling with aaron it's just he's just so gone and i it makes me feel bad seeing armin and mikasa and all them like even talking about having to do something about aaron if they can't talk to him just it, you would have never imagined that in in season one through three the loyalty with everybody was just extreme but going from how Aaron has been acting and his recent decisions, I I get their point of view. Mikasa is so loyal to Aaron though that I she's not going to be able to fathom that. And if they did that, would Mikasa even go with it? I don't think so. I even think Armin would have a hard time, even though he's talking like this. I I think they would have a a hard time doing something like that. I mean, the option of you know they have access to be able to uh you know turn people into into titans or you could have somebody eat aaron or whatever but i don't know i don't think that would for one i don't think that would go good but two i just would mikasa be able to do that i i just don't think so i don't know but a lot has changed over time for everybody else and then those nations you know the, those nations coming in and uh you know trying to get somebody on their side and it not working, you know, all that stuff not working out for them is, uh, you know, it it sucks, but I, I get it. They've always been this enemy and the way they talked about, like, all the nations have this, that's how they have this bond because they're the devils. They're the evil ones. It's like you, if you can make an enemy of somebody, you can make one enemy, that's how you join up everybody else because you can all uh, have the same enemy you're uh, you know that's that's how you uh you know hold hands and get together and i it's one way of doing it but on the other end that's what happens see and i oh man the, this episode just really i'm gonna rewatch this one there was a lot of just kind of is this the last couple have been kind of slower but they've been very informative on say like the things that have been happening in the uh, happening in the background and just the way Aaron has been in general and his, I, I felt chills in the that beginning scene like when he's doing that to Hanji like I we've seen him mad like even in previous seasons but the way he acted there it was like he was a totally different person to me it just felt he felt so different like and you can see it from everybody else's angle even though Hanji's trying to act like you know uh, Act, act like it's nothing or whatever um and they care about aaron but it, it's bad and what has zeke and aaron talked about we definitely don't know this entire plan we know about the rumbling and when they were talking about the rumbling and they're saying oh we could do a test that how is a test drive gonna work like the way i'm thinking of i you i wouldn't even think you could try it out without like you would think the way they say it, the, you know, all these Titans in the walls will come to life. How do you stop that once it's started? So I, I don't know. It's a huge risk. It's like their, it's their trump card. It's our last ditch effort is to use something like that. So, and then, oh man, there's just a lot of small things to talk about in this. I didn't pause as much as I'd like to on this one. Uh, so I'm trying to get out everything I can think of on here. The other big thing was um, the pregnancy. I, I didn't, when when it flashed to her being you know being pregnant and then them talking about some random person is that even like it just i don't know 
she was historia was such a big character and like such an important character i didn't think like if she was gonna i don't know who else, who she would have went with but i wouldn't have thought she would have got pregnant with some random person off screen that was like from her you know from her bad childhood and like all that like i i didn't think that that's why I, is that is that the truth is that who she's really pregnant with or is that all their hearsay because it just doesn't make sense to me like why but may you know i i mean crap happens or whatever but it also the big thing was they came from they they went from the scene of them talking about them needing to reproduce or whatever and then she got pregnant and that's why i thought was it a uh, a forced marriage or a forced like uh pregnancy or something they're trying to that's what i thought it was originally um but uh yeah there's a there's a lot uh there's a lot of things to to really think about here um i uh i definitely i think this episode is worth a rewatch uh anyway if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell if i missed anything feel free to write it in the comments i'm pretty sure i did there was just a lot of things kind of going and there was a lot of it was like i said it was a bit slower uh so there was a lot of uh just scenes that were kind of overlapping it's like okay we're in uh we're in the uh, the present day okay we're two years before and it just kind of went back and forth so i know i'm gonna have to rewatch. Um, if you want to watch these episodes early and uncut, patreon.com slash AJRich123. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.